but I really understood something about the crucifixion process of the dark night of the soul is is really making that ultimate sacrifice for your own ego and your own identity your own you know reputation out in the world the the way you are everything about you you accept everyone was doing what they thought was right at the time you accept that where you're at now because of it you accept everything that you think is wrong you accept that everybody has a piece and a part to play in how everything plays out you accept that there's all these choice points in our lives that led us to how life played out. You accept that your side will never be understood by anyone ever, maybe not even yourself. You accept everything. You accept that wherever you are, that's going to be eternity. And then it is like the burning fire that you're walking in, the fire goes out. And then from genuinely accepting that it is what it is you have walked through the crucifixion you have no need to uh, get your side of the story heard or anything like that because you are choosing acceptance over everything and then you get the peace and then you get the insights and you get the, the stairway out of hell you get all the oh my god how has this benefited me so much and all of a sudden you start to put the pieces of the puzzle together and you're not in hell anymore because then are like the things that have helped me over the years now the things that were never working while I was going through this dark night of the soul period nothing was working nothing was working because I was still holding on to this I want my old identity back I want I want who she like I couldn't accept the new me I couldn't accept that every part of me is different now because of walking through that hellfire I couldn't accept that at all because everything was twisted like nothing made sense the new stuff the old stuff did not there was a mismatch and I could not put things together at all and like once I accepted you know what and I don't I didn't just you know it's not like I I did that many times you know what I mean I accept I accept accept I did that many times but there, there is some kind of point in the process when I actually it became genuine it actually became genuine even if I was genuine before it actually became genuine it actually became a genuine acceptance of who I am now and then all of a sudden I no longer saw myself in hell if anything that I say you know maybe help someone have a less dark night of the soul if they're walking through it knowing that like you can get out of it but you have to accept <laughs> you have to accept uh, the most horrendous things you have to accept them and it's just we can walk through lifetimes not accepting them and we can pass it down for generations not accepting them and no one will ever understand no one will ever understand what you had to sacrifice or what you had to walk through all the hell that you're living in and you have to accept that too <laughs> you have to accept all of it and your ego does not want to do that because your old identity is still trying to hold on but it's like you've got a new identity now it's I'm sure I'll find some um, perfect words for it one day but it is what it is for now I accept that I don't know everything I accept that I don't know and I accept that I don't have all the answers and I accept that I am at wherever I am at and that life will continue teaching me I'll continue to find challenges and obstacles and growth potential levels and I'll be ever leveling up, not realizing sometimes that I am leveling up even when I'm feeling like I'm going down. That was definitely part of the Dark Night of the Soul thing. Because I thought that I had leveled up and that I ended up, you know, falling into a trap door. <laughs> and I did not see, like I thought I had to start from scratch. Well, I did have to start from scratch, I did. But it still was a leveling up. It was like the death of the old. And, yeah. But, yeah, I can I actually can see now that life will, life is more improved from it. It's just that I couldn't accept that she was gone. 